Hi, Hi Brats. Brats. I'm Roman. And I'm Mac. We're going to show you how to put on a lemon brat fursuit today. This is Conrad, and he's a fox, and Mac is going to be wearing them today. As you can see, I'm wearing athletic gear, and this is good because prepare yourself, this will be gross. Uh, but we don't want sweat to get inside your fursuit. With the athletic gear, it absorbs it and it keeps your suit lasting longer and fresher. There's nothing worse than hugging a wet fursuit. Also, some people find the backing of the fur to be a little bit rough and itchy, so it also helps with that. Yeah, which I do, so I like wearing it as well. Yeah. Here we have Conrad. He is a full digital grade fursuit. He comes with a head, tail, hand paws, digital grade padding, bodysuit, and foot paws. Today, we're gonna to be watching Mac get suited up. Uh, I might assist him a little bit here and there, but we wanna show you that it is doable to put on the fursuit by yourself. Uh, so we're gonna watch Mac suffer. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome. First off, we're gonna be putting the padding into the suit. Uh, Roman's gonna show you a little bit more about our padding. So this is our digital grade padding or one piece of it. This is the part that goes over your thigh and it wraps around. So this is on your butt. Uh, a belt will be going through these loops as well, though we will show that off uh, a little more in depth later. Uh, also, there's a zipper here, so you can add and remove stuffing as desired, which is great in case you lose or gain any weight. That way it will stay nice and fitted for you. There's also ankle padding made similarly. And same thing, there's a zipper here. Since this is sewn in, that makes for easy cleaning when you pull out the stuffing. So getting started, you want to have your head, your bodysuit, and the back of your foot paws all unzipped, so that way you have easy access into them. So we're going to go ahead and start putting the padding into the bodysuit. Yeah, so to start off, we're just going to take the padding. This is Conrad left, so this will go on the left side of the suit. So we'll take this and we will stuff it in, get it nice and snug down to the knee. Yeah, so I'm, I'm grabbing the bottom of this pad and pulling it down um, and then taking from the front end and just bringing it down as much as I can. Um, like you're putting on a winter coat, you got to hold your long sleeves so, and while you put your coat on so it doesn't like pull up all the way, um, kind of like that. And then take the butt padding and just kind of wrap it around there. So that's what that'll look like right there then we'll take the next padding again i like to cup it underneath so i have it down and i can force it in so we're gonna again take it and bring it down in there try to make it in line with the knee as much as possible it's going to move around a little bit once i get into it um, but at least it's in a good starting position for me to work with so now that that's in, we are going to take our belt and we're going to wrap it around these black Velcro. And that way it keeps your belt in place and your tail as well. So we're just gonna undo these, take our belt and Put it over and Velcro as so. And this way, the belt can also move around a little bit um, so I can move it freely if I'm not in the exact right position. Um, so once it is through the left hip padding or the right one, whichever, whichever way that you wanna start off with, once it's through the first one, you can put it through the leather uh, tail backing and we do this to help it give some more durability um, helps it last longer so things don't rip over the years um, so i'm going to feed the belt through this first loop here and it's going to come out the back end here and then roman so kindly has the tail ready belt loops belt loops <laughs> Now we're going to take this and we're going to loop it through both loops 
of there. And we're gonna wanna pull it tight all the way down to the suit so it's connected. Um, and then here we have the second hole right there. There you can see the leather from the other side. Um, and we're going to feed that through and reach around back to the inside. And there we go, there's the inside of the loop. So once that's nice and tight on there, I'm gonna tie it through the right hip padding. So we're just gonna Velcro that down there. Open up this Velcro. And something to, something important to note when you're attaching the tail is that you want the, uh, if you have an erect tail, so one that sits more upright, you want to make sure that the belt is as tight as possible on you, so that way it'll sit right against your back. Yep. You so. want to be, you want to be as tight as possible. Yeah, definitely. All right. Now for the fun part, we're gonna get into the suit. You're gonna put your, you can put whatever foot you want in first. But I put in my left, and then put in my right, and we're gonna pull it all the way up, and the padding. Make sure the top of the padding is flush with my hip here. And then the butt padding, make sure that is wrapped all the way around like so. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. And see before when I have the belt loop, the belt already through the Velcro of the padding, it makes it much easier. I don't have to struggle and mess around and try to get the tail through. So that's already up there like that. And I'm just gonna make sure all my padding is straight. That feels pretty good. So before I put the arms over, I like to have as much mobility as possible since I am doing this by myself. Um, I can put my feet on, it makes it easier for me to bend over. So here we have the right foot and we like to label our feet too just to make sure um, but you don't actually swap them because sometimes I walk out the door wearing the wrong shoes. So I'm going to put those on. Like so. And we're just going to zip it up. And I'm going to put the leg over the paw like so. Take your left paw and just slide your feet in and zip it up. Just sometimes it helps to pull the leg over like that so it doesn't get in the way. Just gonna pull it up and it makes it easier for it to just fold right that down like that. Okay, now that I have my paws on, I'm going to tighten my belt. A little bit, not too tight though. Once I get my arms over, it'll be easier. Uh, to tighten it, but just to keep it so my padding stays in place. So now I'm going to put my arms over like so. Get this one over like that. And now, now is a good time to tighten my belt. Um, and that way I can also hold my tail up and feel it, make sure it's nice and close the padding. Probably tighten it a little bit more. All right, we're going to zip up the suit. I'm back. So while I zip up, Roman's gonna share with you the couple, couple different variations of zippers that we have. Yeah, so this suit has a classic zipper. The classic zipper has the fur sewn pretty much straight up to these teeth. Uh, and this is a really nice zipper style because it helps to reduce the seam that you'll see where the zipper connects. We have a different type of zipper called a flap zipper. And this is on our heads. And you can see that the zipper is literally covered by a flap of fur instead. And so when you zip it up, it's a little bit easier to get this zipped up and unzipped. And then it's still 
pretty flush, so you don't really see it, especially with long furs like this has, you're not gonna see that seam so much. So now we're gonna put on the head. First, I'm gonna put on a balaclava though. Again, athletic balaclava material to prevent sweat from absorbing into the foam, making it last longer and faster like we were saying before. So I'm gonna put this on. And while I'm putting this on, Roman is going to explain a little bit more about our head. So on the inside of our custom heads, we have headliners, and you can see the super cute custom Lamont fabric. My personal favorite are the hard eyes. I like, I like him a lot. Uh, also, all of our heads come with this foam that you see right here. So there's foam here and another piece on this side. These little slabs are removable, so that way if the head feels a bit tight on you, uh, you can take those out. You, these help for making the back of the head round, but if you have a large enough head, your head's gonna fill it out naturally anyways. Uh, lastly, before I hand this off, there is this Velcro, or I should say these Velcro straps here. They are elastic and they are used to make it so the head fits as you like. So you can go big. As I struggle to get it undone, <laughs> it's really good Velcro. <laughs> um, and you can also make it super tight. So if you wanna go over to the two different methods of putting the head on. Yeah, so there's two different methods that you can put this on. You can either strap the Velcro on before you put the head on, or you can leave it unstrapped. Uh, typically, I like to keep it unstrapped before I put it on, that way I can have a nice tight fit uh, on my head. I especially like doing the same method where you have the Velcro open because you can put it on like a mask. So instead of trying to pull it over and having your glasses shift everywhere, it just kind of goes straight on and then your glasses aren't really touched. Yep. So I'm just going to turn around so you can see the process of this happening. Ta-da! Ew, human hands. <laughs> and lastly, the hand paws. This is probably the hardest to do on your own. Uh, and while he does this, I'll just go over. These hand paws have faux leather paw pads as well as some plastic cloth oh, on them. Oh my. And he was putting them on upside down. <laughs> this is going well. Uh, but we have a bunch of different types of hand paws. These ones are our standard toonie padded ones. So they don't have a whole bunch of padding, just a little bit in them. Um, but we also have some like puffy paws and things like that too, if you want more animalistic, you know, puffy paws and all that. How's it going? You know, not that bad. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, did I get it? Uh, flip. Sure. <laughs> Every fur suitor's secret weapon is the brush. So you messed up just a small section of this fur suit just by doing this. Uh, with brushing, you just want to go with the grain of the fur, meaning that you're going in the direction the fur goes, not against it. So just brush it out like so. You also want to brush short fur areas, pretty much everywhere. And then you're good to go. Look at that handsome fox. Now you've seen how to put on a Lemon Brat fur suit in full. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. So thank you very much for joining us. And don't forget to punch that like button and kick that bell. <laughs> Bye.